What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What up, everybody? What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Last week, I was exhausted. Um, Danny held it down for us. Yes, uh, last weekend, we had a great guest. Um, not that we had great guests the last couple of weeks. Um, Danny been putting it down uh, for us. So um, I'm just coming on here. Today will be really, really, really quick. Um, quick to the point since I'm by myself today. So, But I just wanted to get on here. And show my face real quick. So, um, and just give y'all just a couple of updates that we wanted to um, bring to your attention. So, right now, um, you know, it's the WNBA season. So, um, you know, make sure that you support the girls, the women, excuse me, the women of the WNBA so that um, they could get their viewership up. Um, the College World Series is going on with the, um, with the men. Um, um, I'm not a big baseball fan, but my husband watches baseball. So, you know, we have been watching the College World Series, but we have not been watching like regular baseball. Um, what else we got going on? What else we got going on? What else we got going on? Um, you know, so there's always like tennis and golf and um, a little stuff like that that's going on. Right. Um, I think we're still really hot and heavy into. Um, is the XFL done? I think the XFL done. Y'all have to excuse me. I've been working like 100 hours um, every two weeks, 100 plus hours every two weeks. And so I have been absolutely exhausted um, working two, three hours a day um, over time. And so I have actually been out of touch with what's been going on in the sports world. So I did just conclude my season with um, I did just conclude my uh my conclude my season with the um the Derby City Dynamite. You know, we um did not make the playoffs. Um, but for those that are interested, um, we did have like eight players that made the all-star team, and they are going to be playing in the all-star game on July 20th or something like that. It should be a Saturday, like the third week of July. And it's going to be in Canton at the Hall of Fame field. And I think tickets for the game are like 20 or 30 bucks if you want to go and actually watch the game live. So I think me and a couple of my um, teammates, especially the ones that are actually in the All-Star game, we're all going to go, you know, we're going to go up and, and um, participate, still participate in the weekend festivities because it's All-Star weekend for um, the WFA, which is the um, the Women's Football Alliance and that is the league that um, I coach for and the team that um, I coach for is in. So there are actually two women's tackle football teams, um, leagues, um, but we are the WFA. And so make sure that you take note. It's the WFA, right? Uh, and not um, the other one. I'm not even going to tell you what the other one is. You're just going to have to go Google it that there's another women's um, tackle football team uh, league that is available. Okay, so um, I'm going to see if my co-host is going to make it on. If she does not, I'm getting ready to cut this absolutely short because I am exhausted, right? I try to get another one of my team teammates to come on, but uh, uh, but she... <laughs> Okay, so I just got a text from one of my teammates. Um, and uh, it is so funny. It is hilarious. So let's talk about social media. So, you know, just be grown about things. Instead of sending subliminal messages on social media about stuff, why don't you just pick up the phone and call and ask questions about what's going on and you know, if you don't feel appreciated and uh, and wanted at a place or whatever like that, why stay there? And and if you're questioning whether or not you're still wanted at a place, ask the question. Um, and so, you know, anyway, the text just kind of went across from, from there and we just going from this. So excuse me, just one second. Sorry about that, because I can't stand uh, when uh, when people do when people do petty stuff. Matter of fact, oh my God, 
I wish I, oh, I wish I could put my business all on social media right now because um, I had a petty incident that happened yesterday that, oh, just almost took me, well, it didn't take me out. It had me rolling actually, but it was actually really funny and really petty. But it just, it just goes to show how, you know, sometimes people can get educated and just because you're educated and you have um, a title and you have um, some letters behind your name, don't mean that you're intelligent or it doesn't mean that you have any common sense, right? So you you deal with a person like me and you try to use that fact and I'm, I'm going to expose you for who you are as far as who you are not and who you think you claim to be, right? So anyway, this ain't the, this ain't the platform for that either. Um, so I am going to, um, I'm going to get off. And I'm going to um, cut this off real quick. And and um, and I guess we're going to see y'all again next week because your girl is tired. But I wanted to show my face. And y'all see I'm still repping the UK because, you know, my son is playing at, at the University of Kentucky. Oh, and he'll be number 14 for the University of Kentucky this season next season he's hoping that he'll get his number back which will be 13 so if i was y'all i wouldn't i wouldn't buy no jerseys or anything right now until next season when he he's able to solidify what his permanent number is going to be but i think right now he's got a um he's wearing 14 this year for his freshman year and he's hoping to go back to number 13 next year um if that if th those players should be um, moving on next year, this should be their last year. And the the ones that play um, number 13 should come open next year. So he's hoping that he'll be get that number this, um, next year. So with that being said, I guess I am done. And I'm looking at myself on this thing and there's a delay on there. So I don't know if y'all got a delay on y'all's end, but I got a delay on my end. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm out. I love y'all. Have a good one. Bye.